Hi everyone! So for today's video, I have just like a little mini haul. I mainly wanted to film this because I finally got my Red Velvet and Purple Kiss albums and I wasn't planning on doing like an actual unboxing for either of those, especially now that it's so late after both albums have come out. And I figured I would also just open a few of the other things that I got this week. So I'm gonna start off with the stuff on top. So I'm pretty sure this is two Formula of Love photo cards and then two postcards from the album. So I'm opening these first. There are some freebies. And I have Jihyo scratch card from Formula of Love. So I'm finally making some progress on Formula of Love, I believe. I think I need like one or two more Geos cards if I remember correctly. And then I think this this is either another Geo or a Chibi card. So it was another Geo Formula of Love card. So there is that card. And then like I said, these should be two postcards from the album. So that is a little Jisoo sticker. And then I have one of her postcards. So I am... I'm really close to finishing the postcards now. So this one should be the last Lisa that I needed. And I got the last Jenny I needed last week. So now, so now I just need one more Jason and then I'm finally done. So there is the Lisa postcard. Now I'm going to get into the albums. So now I just have the albums. Thankfully, I wasn't planning on posting a, an unboxing for either of these albums because they took forever to ship. The Red Velvet albums came out a little earlier than the Purple Kiss albums, but I honestly wasn't expecting the Red Velvet albums to like delay this package so much. Like, I want to say, that if I remember correctly, the Purple Kiss albums. The Purple Kiss albums were released on the 29th, and it's the 14th of April right now. And the Purple Kiss albums were ready to ship for so long, but for some reason, the Red Velvet ones took forever to ship. But I'm just glad I finally have them. And I do also have the K-Town for You pre-order, two of the K-Town for You pre-order benefits for Purple Kiss too. So I think I'm going to start with the Red Velvet albums, since that came out first. So I knew this version was going to be smaller. This is honestly even smaller than I was expecting it to be. And these two versions are also a lot smaller than I thought. This is also the first time I've unboxed a Red Velvet album since the Revifesto Festival finale. 
because I never end up getting queens on. So it's been a while since I've had a Red Velvet album. And I honestly, I can't remember what my look is like for them in terms of pulls. So I'm excited to see who I end up getting. I forgot there was the random number standy thing. There's like the it's like the mini CD. I haven't seen any unboxings for either of these albums yet. There's the track list on the front. Because I wanted to wait until I got mine. And then there is a sticker sheet. And then a little weird thing. I'm not going to do like a full unboxing because it's been so long since both of these albums were at released, but I am just going to do like a quick little flip through of everything. I really love like the whole concept for this album. So I'm going to look at the little standee thing first. So I got Joy for that. I'm not planning on collecting that, so really, so I really didn't care who I pulled. And then I did see, I already saw the name on the back because I forgot that it was on there. I got Wendy for that card. I'm going to go into these two versions, which I really love the cover of both of these. I also really love the backs. I'm really hoping I can pull at least one Yuri photo card. I originally was collecting three numbers of Red Velvet, but now I'm only collecting one, so I would at least like to pull one of her cards if I could. The inside is just pink. I don't know if the photo books are the same. I know that with Queendom, they have the same exact photo books as the CD. And with the finale, they had like the two different colored photo books. Like one was red and I think one was pink and one was green. But they were still like the same exact photo books. So like I said, I haven't seen any unboxings. So I honestly don't know if they're the same. I don't remember... comes with this. Okay, so there is a sticker sheet. It's a little folded poster and I got Irene. Then there is a little bookmark. So I got Wendy for that too. And then I didn't see the name on the back this time. But I got Joy for the photo card, which would be nice if I was still collecting her. But unfortunately, like I said, I'm not collecting her anymore everything for this version. So, so far I've pulled everybody but Yuri and Solgi. This one is green and it's got like the clouds on the inside. And I'm just going to check real quick and see if the photo books are the same. I don't. Oh yeah, they are the same. Yeah, they're definitely the same photo books. I don't get why they keep doing that. Right, so this one has the same sticker sheet. I don't know if there is a different sticker sheet. Then I got Wendy for this poster. And I did already see the name on the bookmark, so I got Joy for that. Which I never collect bigger stuff for Red Velvet, so I, I never really care who I pull. And then for the photo card, I pulled Wendy again. Oh, I thought this was the same photo card for a second, but even though it was from different versions. But it's just like a very similar card. So unfortunately, I didn't end up pulling any Yuri. Hopefully, her cards won't be too hard to find. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Purple Kiss albums. I'm going to start with the KTOP View pre-order benefits. Oops, so, okay, this 
one first. I got Jan for that one. And then I got Yuki. And then I honestly can't remember which version is which. I'm just gonna open this one first. I didn't realize that these albums had like that tab thing to open it. So and the CD for this version is just in this little envelope thing. It's like a little picture in there. Oh, I'm not gonna go through the whole photo book again. Like, just gonna do like a quick flip through. So then for the little I did the poster, I got Yuki. And then for the two postcards. Look at this one first. And then for the second one, I'm not sure how I feel about the half the face being gone, but I think I go on for that. I don't collect her bigger inclusions, but it was nice to at least pull one of hers because I don't think I've pulled any of her bigger inclusions for their two other releases. And then there is two photo cards. So for look at one of them first. So I got chain for that one. And for the second one I got going with so that was nice. Normally I don't have that much luck with pulling her but I did get one of her postcards and one of her photo cards. Wait, and I'm gonna go to the other version. Honestly I think I like this cover better even though the other one had like the full group on it. I'm not crazy about this packaging just because I always hate when they have the little pull tab things. This one has a picture on that side. It says they were exceedingly beautiful and strange. And there is the cover for that one. This honestly kind of reminds me of the cover of Red Velvet's Russian Roulette album. the photo book really quick. And then for the poster, I got Yuki again. I think the only member I still haven't pulled for anything is Swan. And then for the postcards, so I got going again. I got Chang for the other one, so that one was different. But I don't collect bigger inclusions, so I'm glad to at least just have one of them. But honestly, I would have been fine no matter who I would have pulled because I tend to just keep whoever I get for them. And then for the first photo card, I have Swan, so now I've finally pulled all of the members. And then the back just looks like that, which is like really cute with like the little drawing. And then the second one, so I pulled Chain for that one. And so then with like the pre-order benefits included, I ended up pulling everyone except for Tozu for something. Right, so that was everything for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.